Alright, Sunday morning. The winds are blowing. They're like uh, seven, 7 to 10. And they're coming from right, right here right now. First flight of the day. Slow roll out of the box. Yesterday when I did that, the wind blew it away. <laughs> Nice quiet morning to fly. Nice breeze, birds chirping. Birds chirping, occasional car going by on the highway. Oh, the wind blew it out of that slow loop. <laughs> I didn't want it to flop over in case I lost, put it into a stall. It's kind of close to the deck. Didn't want to risk it. Just enough wind to muck with stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've ridden in a Centauri and the only thing I didn't carry did everything. The only thing I didn't care for him to do was spins coming down at the cornfields. I didn't care too much for those. Snap rolls and stuff were all right. One time we were in a big sweeping churn like that and he did a roll like that. <laughs> but he didn't come down so far. But. Did an opposite rule. <laughs> we always because you were set, G's are set for the turn, and then he rolled the opposite way. That was the closest he ever came to making me sick. Time to start. But there was a flock of geese we had to avoid. I don't know if you've ever seen that jelly belly that does the, the little, I think it's a cut wing cub that he does this at the air shows where he picks somebody up off a car or lands on a car. Yeah, he lands on a car. He does other things. Well, at the air show they had a low ceiling so not much could fly. He went up and he just did like a slow speed routine, kind of like, kind of like what I'm doing now. He just kind of stall it up, flip it around. Bring it down. It was pretty darn impressive, I'll tell you that. Because he, he was going so slow, it just looked like it was hanging in the air by magic. And they got to fly the, you know, probably 70% of the air show when the ceiling lifted. But. That still was pretty impressive. 
add along with the Mustangs and stuff. But of course, the Thunderbirds. Yeah, first flight of the day, so I'm not all that. I don't know, it takes me a while to get on the snakes. I don't know why I like filming my first flights. Usually, because people get here and I get talking with them, and it's kind of hard to fly nice and tight when you got several people or more than one person flying because you gotta fly a pattern so you don't ding up each other's planes. There you go, first flight of the day. Oh, I still got a minute left. First landing of the day, of the first flight of the day. Time to stop. Time to stop. Time remaining, one minute. I think Tuco's kind of upset. Usually I walk him first, but I wanted to fly in case I didn't want to fly in 22 mile an hour winds like yesterday. Gee whiz. It's nerve wracking. Time to stop. Time to stop. Time to stop. A little crosswind. Wind's like right there. Time to start. I got enough battery to go around again. There we go. That was better. That was better rudder on that turn. Let's bring it up here. Full throttle. And we'll start coming Time to down. stop. Time to start. 20 seconds. Time to stop. Touch the wheel down. One thing you got to watch is that turn right there when it's when it's windy. Because in the gust yesterday, like I said, they're up 20s, 22s was the high I recorded. It just blows it right over. I mean, you can, you can counter the ailerons all you want and it still just blew it right over well hope you have a good day we're gonna have a good day hoo, hoo, hoo. here's what's left of my timer that i had set for let's see what i had it set for i can't think i had it set for seven i haven't Time changed it yeah all right so that's what i had left set on seven i used it all but 19 seconds there's what i got left on the battery 11 4 5 those either like cell counts uh, three eight three eight and then this is a good battery but that's what I got left